Hi everyone, I'm Chief Engineer Lao Shi, as an FPGA YouTuber and the best-selling author of FPGA book. Some of you should have noticed that I haven't talked about FPGA for quite a while. Is this because I don't want to talk? No, it is not. There simply hasn't been much happening in the FPGA industry to talk about. Well, after an entire FPGA industry has been quite silent for a long time, AMD, a familiar name to many of us, has made a big announcement in March. They have launched a new product line called Spartan Ultra Skill Plus, specifically targeting the cost sensitive applications such as IoT, edge computing, and embedded systems. Simply put, these chips have been small in size, but their performance is not weak at all, being small but powerful, which I'll explain in more detail later in the video. More importantly, it means AMD is making a strategic play in bringing high end FPGA architecture into more affordable markets. So this isn't just about product launches, it's really about reshaping the very perception of the FPGA technology. So without further ado, in today's video, I will use this small but powerful chip as an example to discuss the future of FPGAs in the era of AI and its underlying trends. So what exactly is the Spartan Ultra Skill Plus? For those unfamiliar with FPGA technology, it may be confusing, but it's really very straightforward. AMD FPGAs are named in a very straightforward pattern, Spartan means the product line, while the Ultra Skill Plus denotes its specific characteristics. In this case, Ultra Skill Plus indicates that these chips are manufactured using the 16 nanometer technology, second only to 7 nanometer versal in terms of manufacturing technology. So beyond the manufacturing process, each generation of FPGA also introduced advancements in its architecture. For example, the Ultra Skill Plus family embodies features like Ultra RAM and Interchip Interconnection, setting it apart from its predecessors. Now, regarding the Spartan designation, it represents AMD's commitment to providing cost-optimized solutions tailored for applications prioritizing efficiency and affordability. So when powering low-cost devices or enabling edge computing scenarios, the Spartan series offer versatility and scalability. The Spartan product line was initially launched back in 1998, probably older than many of our audiences. In fact, the application scenarios of such cost-optimized FPGAs are already very wide, such as the AD or surgical robots in the medical field, control and management of the server boards in data centers, and even Mars rover and CERN's particle accelerators use this chip. So in this case, we may claim that many groundbreaking researches have been accomplished with the help of Spartan. Woo! So what are the unique advantages of Spartan FPGAs and why they can be used in many fields? So take the AED example. I found that in recent years, many public places have equipped this life-saving machine. As a medical device, stability and reliability are the primary considerations, which is also a major advantage of FPGAs. So in terms of functionality, the application functions in these fields are quite clear, and they don't need particularly large computing power, or they don't need high-end CPUs or GPUs or even a advanced FPGAs. So in addition, such portable mobile devices are small in size and cannot consume too much power. Also, the cost need to be affordable. All in all, cost-optimized FPGAs like Spartan are the most suitable because they balance the factors such as efficiency, high stability, low power consumption, and cost effectiveness. So from technology standpoint, cloud computing, endpoint devices, and edge computing are significantly different. The cloud focuses on computational performance, PCs and such terminals emphasize general use and flexibility, while edge computing demands real-time processing and sensor fusion. Traditional embedded MCUs or GPUs emphasize flexibility and performance, but their IOs are limited and it's difficult to connect multiple sensors or networks devices at the same time. In contrast, FPGA is actually a very good choice for these kinds of applications. It has lots of programmable IOs, which can seamlessly connect multiple peripherals and sensors, making FPGA itself serve as a core unit for both control and computation. The logic structures of FPGA can be reconfigured according to the algorithm or application with high parallelism and low latency. So the end-to-end -end latency is very low, ensuring real-time performance of agile applications. So in the AI era, the spotlight isn't solely on foundation models or LLMs. IoT and edge computing also have great opportunities. 
Data shows that by 2028, the number of IoT devices will more than double. This not only brings more demands on edge computing power, but also raises more requirements for the interconnection, expansion, and security of various IoT devices. This is also the reason behind AMD's continued investment of the cost-optimized FPGAs. Now let's take a close look at how the Spartan Ultra School Plus FPGA bridge high-end architecture to affordable mass market that's better meeting the new requirements of edge computing. So this architectural enhancement also represents an important direction for the future development of FPGAs. I have summarized four points. Let's take a close look at them one by one. Firstly, the I.O. density and performance are deeply optimized for edge applications. High I.O. density means that not only the number of I.O. interfaces should be larger, but also for the same FPGA logic unit, the ratio of I.O. should be high as well. This metric is called the I.O. logic unit ratio, which is a crucial benchmark. Spartan Ultra School Plus is 3.5 times more than the previous generation Spartan 7. It also provides up to 572 IOs of three different types, support 3.3 volts voltage, MIPI DeFi protocol, and also 3.2 gig MIPI DeFi. MIPI is an interface protocol standard for mobile devices and edge applications, which can help processors and peripherals like sensors and cameras connect more efficiently. More IO is not enough, and we need higher connectivity performance. This is mainly achieved by the Ultra Skill Plus architecture. The transceiver bandwidth of the new product has also been greatly improved, such as up to 8 gig transceivers at a speed of 16.3 gigabits per second, compared to Arctic 7, which is also embedded in the edge ends. The transceiver bandwidth of Spartan Ultra Skill Plus has increased 2.5 times, and the MIPI bandwidth has increased 4 times. This is very important for I.O. intensive applications which with limited size and power consumption. For example, in the applications of industrial robots, a single FPGA can connect multiple motors, sensors, cameras, industrial networks, etc., and supports the expansion and interconnection of these agile applications. Therefore, the reason why Sparta Ultra School Plus has made such a big an effort on I.O. density is essential to connect more devices through FPGA and to bring more applications into the era, the era of edge AI. Power efficiency is also crucial for edge computing. This is also one of the main reasons why AMD has brought the Ultra Skill Plus architecture to Spartan. An intuitive advantage is that the 16 nanometer process node has been thoroughly optimized, so the overall performance and the power consumption have reached the best balance. Compared to a 28 nanometer chip, the total power consumption of the new product can be reduced by up to 30%, and the performance can be increased by up to 1.9 times. Spartan also offers a wide range of options, ranging from 11K to 218K logic units across nine products, catering to diverse needs in embedded applications, server board management, and edge computing scenarios. So the new architecture also has hardened IPs for peripheral controllers such as LPDDR, PCI Agent 4, etc., without wasting valuable logic resources to implement, and the performance is higher, allowing the energy efficiency to increase by 60%. Enabling designs that previously require higher end chips to be accomplished with Spartan, thus reducing the cost without sacrificing performance. Spartan Ultra School Plus FPGA also integrates many dedicated IPs dedicated to security protection. It protects the edge computing system from threats, and it also protects the IP's implementations on the FPGA. Spartan Ultra School Plus FPGA integrates a large number of security features, mainly divided into three categories. The first is to protect the design and IPs on FPGA, such as the using the post-quantum cryptography to resist network attacks and threats, and the physically unclonable functions to avoid reverse engineering. The second is to prevent tampering, such as customizable tampering responses, key management, and DPA countermeasures against the side channel attacks. The third is to use enhanced single event interface performance to maximize operating time and improve reliability. Don't ask me to deep dive into the above topic. Security experts could share more insights in the, in the comments below. But I do feel these security innovations are pretty awesome. AMD has made significant optimizations to enhance the usability of the FPGA development tools, which are actually a deep mode for those FPGA vendors. 
Traditionally, Fijian vendors dedicated to develop their own tool chains. Looking back now, this is actually a very wise decision. In Edge applications, many developers may come from a software or algorithm background and are not familiar with FPGA hardware development. It doesn't make sense for them to learn how to use the EDA tools to develop FPGAs. So it's actually very important to carry out the entire development process in a unified development environment. For the Sparta Ultra Skill Plus FPGA development, you only need to use AMD's Vivado tool, which integrates simulations, synthesis, place and routing, debugging, and so on, enabling end-to-end -end design without the need of any third-party tools. The biggest advantage is to greatly improve development efficiency, reduce complexity, and accelerate product time to market, especially for those developers that are not familiar with FPGA development at all. In the coming video, I will use another chip in the SOC ser SOP series to fully demonstrate the design scheme, so please do subscribe my channel. Sparta Ultra Skill Plus is a small but powerful FPGA that meets the demands of AI very well. This is actually a good reference for the development of the entire FPGA industry. Let's spend a few more minutes on to elaborate a bit more on this topic. First of all, technology is still the most fundamental truth. FPGA is still a chip, and its essence of a chip is the magic of turning sand into cutting-edge technology. Therefore, how to integrate more functions onto the increasingly smaller chips is still the, enti is still the direction of the R&D for FPGAs and even for the entire chip industry. Although it seems like Spartan and UltraScope Plus are just a combination of names, the technology breakthroughs behind this combination are very hardcore and not so simple to achieve. So instead of saying that the high-end architecture of UltraScope Plus is downgrading to the low-end products like Spartan, it is actually a two-way exchange driven by both technology and demand. After all, technology that can solve problems is a useful technology. Secondly, FPGA retains irreplaceable. Although the FPGA industry seems to have been dormant for a long time, there's not much news, and many people even think that the GPU now dominates the world, and FPGA is actually dead. But the fact is far from this. One of the important features of FPGA is its very, very long life cycle, as short as 5 or 6 years, and as long as 15 or 16 years. For example, AMD announced last year that the life cycle of Spartan 6 will be extended to at least 2030. This means that the production and manufacturing technology supporting this type of FPGAs will still continue, and the product using Spartan 6 do not need to be forcibly updated, but can continue to serve. This will reflect the extremely high stability of FPGA, and also reflects the stability of the medical industry and other FPGA applications. Therefore, FPGA still plays an irreplaceable role in this field. As the industry evolves, FPGA vendors must also adapt to the new trend and find their own future development direction. So the key to addressing the future development of FPGA lies in new applications such as edge application and inference applications and artificial intelligence, which are very suitable for FPGAs. Finally, software tools and IPs are still the key. While FPGA hardware structures may seem static, their true competitiveness mainly comes from the software tools and IPs, such as the end-to-end -end development tools mentioned in the video and the various high-speed interfaces and the security IPs. These are added values of the FPGA and the backbones of FPGA innovation. So what's your view on the future of FPGA development and what's your expectation on the evolution and the new opportunities of the COP series of FPGA such as the Spartan? Feel free to leave your comments down below. If you find this video helpful, please do hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.